Hello Cedar Lake Camp families. My name is Allie Mack Gaspard and I'm the day camp director here at Cedar Lake Camp. This is my second year filling this position but my 19th summer here at Cedar Lake Camp. I started coming here when I was five years old as a day camper and now I'm getting to walk in obedience to my call to children's ministry through this role. I wanted to send this video for three main reasons. The first is I know it can be really scary to send your, your camper to a place where maybe they've never been before. And so I wanted to offer some peace of mind um, as you pull up to camp and you see my face, maybe it will, it will offer some familiarity um, and help you know that this is a great place to bring your camper. Um, I've been here since I was five. I'm very passionate about this. I'm passionate about the gospel um, and I'm very excited to have your camper here with us this summer. The second reason is that last year we implemented a new drop-off and pickup system um, to increase safety for campers, staff, and parents as well. And I wanted to walk you through what that will look like when you pull onto Camp's campus. So when you pull onto Camp's campus, uh, there will be a gravel road that you'll take. Um, and then when you pull up to a white building, there will be a turn and you'll see our staff there and you'll make three stops. The first stop is with Angela, our camp administrator, and she'll get, make sure that your camper is all signed in and that all your fees are paid and that uh, your camper has snack shack money and all of those details. Then you'll stop with our camp nurse, Autumn, and she will discuss any medication that your camper needs um, and any allergies that you might have concerns about. Your final stop is where your camper will now exit your vehicle and go with their counselor. I will tell them what group they're in, who their counselor is, and then they'll go take their stuff and put it in their cubby in the pavilion. We're asking that your parents do not exit the vehicles unless you have children that are five or six and that need help with their stuff. This is just to, again, ensure safety and increase the efficiency and effectiveness of our drop-off and pickup line. Now this does not mean that communication with me and the counselors is cut off from the parents and the guardians. I want you to know that I want to have that communication and have that relationship. So anytime, if you have any concerns with your campers, with their group or anything like that, just know that I'm always free to answer any questions through email or phone number. The third reason I wanted to send this is I have two requests to make. The first is that anything that your camper brings to camp with them, that you write their name on the tags of towels, clothing, anything like that. This will help us decrease lost and found um, and make sure that your camper goes home with everything that they brought to camp. We will be putting all the lost and found on a table at the end of the week. So if your camper loses something throughout the week, you can ask me about it, but odds are it will end up on that table at the very end of the week, and that's when you can pick up your child's loss and found. My second request is that your camper bring a flashlight on Wednesday when we go to the cave. This will just, again, increase safety, and we have limited flashlights here and definitely not enough for everyone, especially on our bigger weeks. So this will just help us and help your camper as we make that trip to the cave, which will be super fun. Again, I'm super excited for the summer, and I can't wait to see you guys, some of you, very soon.